test everything against yourself. This is also empowering. It builds trust in yourself and it strengthens your intuition and your integrity. You can practice it in physical, emotional and mental ways and you'll find that you are your own toolkit. I use the term the human barometer and I have found immense success in my life and with my students and clients with this simple tool. Because it's a focus on the physical body, it takes away the self-talk and the second guessing that we can fall into. You simply sit with two or more choices in front of you and see which way your body moves. You may hold things, they may be in your hands, they may be in a table, you may be in a public space and you just say one is left and one is right. So you sit with these choices in front of you to see which way your body moves and it may move towards or away from a choice. Or you may see with eyes, one gets brighter and one gets darker. Or one pop up and one almost fade out. And these are your body's ways of emphasizing your intuition. It can be as simple as do I want coffee or water? And your body moves towards one. Do you want to see my friend at all or Monday or Tuesday? Notice the response. Which friend would you like to visit, this one or that one? The answer may surprise you about which one will give you more energy or opportunities and which one would not. For bigger events like choosing between jobs or cars, for instance, it's been quite interesting. You may have two jobs in front of you and one pays more or looks like your dream role and that the body barometer pushes you back, not forward. That may mean that there are going to be conflicts with the boss or redundancies in the role and your guides are letting you know now. Or they pull you towards one that is the second pick and it turns out this is where you meet the connections to move you forward. Or the car, they may push you back from one choice as they know it's a lemon. Or you are moving soon and it won't fit in the garage that is in the next house. You can hold them in your hands, like traditional psychometric testing. You can think of them on, on either side of your body. Just go with the first thought and movement. The more you seek and guess or play with any answer, the faster the clarity is disturbed by manipulation of the energy. The next step in the tool is to, toolkit is to test everything against yourself. This is an emotional truth. So it's so much more about trusting your instincts and letting your guidance over other people's intentions fall away. It's not a judgment piece on their truth or intentions. It is you testing it against your own truth. This makes more and more sense over time as you do it. And to disconnect from judgment and manipulation is the key that you are gaining. The step is always simple. Someone says or does something and you simply ask yourself, do I agree with that? Or does this feel right to me? Occasionally you'll ask yourself, what do I think about that? The answer is usually fast and straightforward and may surprise you as it moves you out of the programming that you hold and gives you a direct response. Again, the learning here is not to try and dissect it as this is where we go back into the self circular self-talk to get you back into your normal pattern. There is no rule or requirement that you act on any of this. Just do you. You choose at all times what you want to do. If you want to do the opposite to the response, then that is also fine. It will give you the opportunity to experience what you were being told about and to learn to interpret the energy of events they were considering. This may end up being more empowering and strengthening to really understand the messages in the simple exercises. Even if you are in very difficult situations in life and you are aware that one path is being shown to you but you do not want them to do it, you don't have to. If it is just you in a situation, then your right to choose is all yours. Sometimes it is out of fear or love. Other times the unknown is harder to normalize so you're not ready. But checking it with yourself and asking when things are said and done, am I okay with this, is still empowering to you. If the answer is no, and you do it anyway, you're allowed to make the choice. Each time the answer is no, you get faster and stronger at deciding that you're not okay with things, 
and then you get faster at better at not putting yourself back into the energy of that situation. So the energy dissipates and that situation changes. I believe when you decide anything, your guides and ancestors have the permission to act on that choice and they will wait until you're ready to align lifestyle changes that match your belief system. 